think I'd ever make one, but we just about time. So today, the first, uh, first thing I want to talk about is uh, something I was thinking of last night after I beat Ghostbusters, and we all know there's a you know big cast in there of well-known actors. But another thing a lot of people don't realize now is there's a lot of actors just playing in video games these days. I had also recently beat Bionic Commando and realized that Mike Patton was the voice of Nathan Spencer. Mike Patton was the lead singer of Faith No More in the 80s, and he's a pretty big in the music industry right now. There's a lot of stuff with Buckethead on the side, uh, tours, there's a lot of concerts, a lot of really interesting side projects. He just had a side project called Peeping Tom in 2006. It was an amazing CD. But, uh, and then I also realized besides Bill Murray and, you know, Dan Aykroyd and all the, the other two guys, Harold and Winston, but uh, there also Alyssa Milano was in Ghostbusters, and I don't know if any of you remember that show Get a Life, but The Neighbor, and I always forget the guy's name, and I only remember him from Get a Life, so I've heard him on King of the Hill and many other shows. He was like the art director or something, or the guy who was possessed at the end. But anyways, my, my question for you guys is, what do you think about all these actors in video games? We're not at the point yet where we're seeing their names on the front of the game, but what if we actually were? Now, I know in Japan there have been times where they have used voice actors and actresses in games. One of the games I have is Cotton, and they even have on the back, they show uh, a young Japanese pop star was doing the voice of Cotton in that game. We haven't seen that in America yet, but I think most of us might remember, um, what was his name? <laughs> Lee? Oh, the, I forget his name right now, but the guy who played uh, the main star in Grand Theft Auto 3. I, I keep thinking of a football guy's name, but uh, anyways. So that to me was kind of the start of seeing a lot of actors in games and whatnot, was seeing the... Uh, you know, the main star, the guy from uh, from all those gangster movies. He was the main star of, uh, I'm sorry for my bad information, but, uh, you know, his star of Grand Theft Auto 3, and then, of course, Grand Theft Auto, um, oh, I, um, I meant Vice City. He was the star of Vice City, the 80s, the 80s one. And then with, uh, I remember when San Andreas came out, I was reading the credits in San Andreas, and that had just huge lineup of stars from David Cross, I mean, just down the line, it had a ton of people in there. But anyways, I don't think that actors could make or break games, but, you know, they could give them a different type of game, a stigma. That's why I don't think you will ever see their names on the front of a game, like, you know, starring Brad Pitt. But if we did, you know, it would be kind of kind of scary to me. But what do you guys think about that? Um, well, let me know. See how this turns out.